Hello to you guys, Crystal here. Welcome to Fantasy Life. This is going to be the next Let's Play on this channel. I'm very excited about this. I've played this game uh, extensively before by myself and with friends, and it is actually a fantastic RPG for anyone who's interested. And it's available on the 3DS, which is great. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this, shall we? Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and make my character. I'm gonna leave this bit out of the recording just because it's gonna probably take me a long time uh, and you guys will see the end product when we start playing. This is a magical and peaceful world. It's called Reveria. I used to look down on it from the sky. Now I'm gazing up at the clouds. There's a hazy moon floating up there. It's called Lunares. Lunares bathes Reveria's uh, landscape with its beautiful silvery light. Dawn approaches. Is my hero nearby? I sense a presence. Someone deep in a conflicted dream. Will they mine? Will they smith? Will they fell? Will they cook or sue or saw or... They fish? Hunt? Swing a sword? Conjure? Brew? Or fight for valor? All they have to do is choose the way they want to live their life. It is almost daybreak in Riveria. It's time for our story to begin. Oh my, oh my, have you fallen out of bed? I heard a huge thump just now, so I came running. I thought one of those whatchamacallit stones had fallen on our house or something. What are you gaping at, my dear? Did you have a strange dream? Actually... Oh, you poor poppet. Was it a nasty, scary old dream? I'm just glad you didn't come through the ceiling. These floorboards are old and creaky. Oh, by the way, I heard you finally chose a life. I'm so happy for you. Such excitement. Have you checked the mailbox? There might be a letter from the king. Pop outside and check. There's a deer. Alrighty, guys. Let's go head on out, shall we? Over here, my dear, here's the mailbox. Look. In your mailbox, you'll receive letters from townspeople, flyers from the local shops, and so on. Occasionally, you'll get a letter that is vital to the progression of the story. You can also view tutorials on in game features in the form of letters. Awesome. Dear Bob, once you've received your license, I would request your presence at the royal court. King Eric of Castell. from the king, isn't it? Look, there's a royal seal on the envelope. I remember my letter from the king. Everyone gets one when they start their first life. But you'll need a life license first before you appear in front of the king. Do you have one already? Um... Pop into the guild office for your license before heading out to, ca to the castle. The guild office is over there in the square, see? It's quite close, you won't get lost, but I'll mark it on your map, just in case. Next story objective is displayed on a banner at the top of the touchscreen. Uh, an arrow pointing to your objective is also displayed. Follow the arrow if you get lost. Oh dear, you look a little green about the gills. I know, I'll give you a nice piece of candy to settle your stomach before you meet the king. Pop it in your pouch, dearie. That way you'll have it close by. Okay, just more tutorials here. I'm probably not gonna read through most of these. Run along to the castle then, my dear. But don't forget to stop at the guild office first. Alrighty, so how about we head on forwards then, shall we? Here is the guild office, as per Pam. Alright, laddie. I know who you are. You're Bob, right? Here's your novice license. Don't go losing it now. Just 
received the Paladin license from the Guildmaster. While you're here, how about I lay down a few life lessons? Listen to me, laddie. Now, about that license of yours. Okay, so in Riveria, your vocation is known as your life. To begin a new life, you must first obtain a license for that life from the guild office. Each life is governed by a separate master. After getting a license, speak to the master of your chosen life. They'll teach you essential skills. Your rank will rise as you complete certain life achievements. As your rank rises, you'll become able to utilize different skills. Each life comes with a separate set of skills to learn. However, you can continue to use skills you learned in a previous life, even when playing under a different life. I'll do for a start. You don't want to keep his majesty waiting. If you have any questions, come and talk to me, okay? You know the way to the castle, don't you? Out of the guild's office and head north. I didn't mean to offend. Please, just let me flutter by. Think you're clever, do you? Making puns, do you? Get back here. We won't let you escape. I wasn't trying to pun. Someone help. Seems like there's a kerfuffle outside. Somewhere in the square by the sound of it. Alright, well let's go have a look in the square. See what's what's up. Now just settle down, will ya? We ain't gonna hurt ya. Please, just let me go. Think we're just gonna let you go after what you said? But I didn't mean anything by it. Too late for that. Quit trying to worm your way out of it. Oh, please, don't stick a pin in me and put me in a display case. I beg of you. Don't turn me into a brooch or a hat pin. Oh, please. Kind of morbid, huh? Still, a talking butterfly is rare, isn't it? Yeah, we'll be eating well tonight. You're gonna eat me? We're not gonna eat you. We're gonna sell you and become rich men. You, hey, you there? Will you help her? Oh, I guess so. I have no idea who you are, but I thank you for your bravery. Still, I must refuse your help. I must try to deal with these ruffians by myself. Hear that? Now she's calling us ruffians. Aw, oh, you made my bro mad. Now you're done for. I'm only just starting out. I can't let it end like this. Hey, you actually... I need your help after all. You gonna help out this uppity butterfly? Buppity upperfly? Listen, Potato Brain, just be quiet for half a minute, will ya? And you, Nosy, go play hero somewhere else. Think we're gonna stop just because you asked us nicely? We're desperados. We make our own rules and we'll do anything to get our hands on Dosh. My half a minute's up. Listen, kid, crime ain't all we do. We pick mushrooms and flowers and we go fishing and we sell our spoils for Dosh. Dosh is the currency in Riveria. You can earn Dosh in a variety of ways. So pretty much it's just telling us how we're going to be earning money over the course of the game. If you really want to help the butterfly, then give us your Dosh. All of it. Empty his pockets. Roger, bro. Brace yourself for a shock, bro. This kid ain't got a single Dosh. What? Forget about the butterfly, kid. You got bigger problems. Don't you know you can't get by in this world without Dosh? What's this? Oh, you found some hidden Dosh? Ain't no Dosh, it's a piece of candy. No Dosh, just one measly piece of candy. I'm starting to feel sorry for this kid now. Well, it's better than nothing. Hand it over. Listen up, kid. Mind your own business in future and make some Dosh. My bear is pretty smart, huh? Make some dosh. That's his motto. You saved me from an extremely sticky situation. Thank you so much. I wanted to know all about the different kinds of life, so I've been going around asking everyone. And when I saw those two, I had to ask, what life did you two belong to? Goon? Oaf? And then, they started yelling at me and chasing me. I can't imagine why. I'm so lucky you came along. I owe you an eternal debt. Well, I have something important to do, so I'll be making my leave now. Uh, which way is the castle again? It should be due north of here, shouldn't it? Oh, there it is. Farewell, then. And good luck. Alrighty, I guess we should head up to the castle as well.
Welcome to Castel Castle. The king is currently in residence within the royal court. His majesty is most gracious to his subjects, but please be quiet as a mark of respect. Uh, was it this way or is it the upper one? Eyes forward, back straight, I'm the very image of a diligent paladin, right? Well, actually, the truth is that I'm a big old coward who's afraid of everything. I feel like the suits of armor on either side of me are gonna come alive and get me. Huh. <laughs> okay, I guess it's up here then. Hold it right there. This is the royal court. We do not allow anyone to pass through here unless they're appropriately attired. I'm not saying you need to be in full military apparel, but I'm afraid that your look does not comply with royal regulations. At least put on a tie or wear a bow or something. This is the king we're talking about, you know? Oh, you meanie! Keep your voice down. Oh, please, please let me in. Oh, that butterfly again, man. Let's go see what she needs this time. Oh, hello again. I must say, I've never seen a butterfly that sparkles and talks before. This person's a big meanie. He won't let me see the king. Nobody's being mean. We simply don't allow insects in the royal court. Furthermore, the king doesn't have time to listen to the prattling of a butterfly. He's a very busy man. I'm sorry, but I have no choice in the matter. I must ask you to leave. I can't believe the prejudice one faces simply for being a butterfly. By the way, what are you doing here at the castle? Does the king invite you personally, but they turned you away for not wearing a tie? How horrid. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea. Do you want to give it a try? Um, I guess so. Okay, stay where you are. Don't move at all. Here goes, just raise your chin a little. Ta-da! You've heard of a bow tie. Well, say hello to the butter tie. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this game ahead of time, you guys, is full of a lot of puns. The humor is kind of weird. Fair warning. Halt, scoundrel, I just told you your outfit is simply not- What's that sparkling under your chin? It's a bow tie. Well, that changes everything. Yes, yes, it looks quite expensive. You should have put it on earlier. Such a splendid tie. Uh, it seems to be fluttering slightly. Still, it certainly complies with royal regulations. Please, pass freely. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the king's like. So you've come. I am Eric, 11th King of Castel and ruler of the realm. Our citizens pursue many varieties of life to lead our great kingdom to prosperity. As king, permit me to congratulate you on this auspicious day with the life you have chosen. Uh, what life was it again? Entirely, really. Well, it matters not. May the life you have chosen lead you on the path to glory. The king is surprisingly cute. He's like a little boy. Mumbling to yourself, are you? Pray tell, does my speech bore you? Be assured, my loyal subject, the dry formalities are now finished. Allow me to introduce my wife, Queen Ophelia of Castel. Bob, congratulations on starting your life. For the sake of the kingdom, and more importantly for those you hold dear, please do your very best to work hard on your new life day by day. She's beautiful and she smells like a meadow in spring. The dutifully smiling young lady to my right is my daughter, Laura. Ah, uh, darling, Laura's gone out. Again? She defies me constantly by going out sans bodyguard. I don't know what to do with her. She sounds like a wild princess. Returning to the matter at hand, as you have now been chosen- or as have you now chosen your life, I should like to take this opportunity to request that you conduct yourself with pride as a true Castilian. All for one and one for all. Enjoy your chosen life and spread joy to others. Gather much dosh, if that is your will. Garnish your life with stars, if that be your desire. Pursue a life full of bliss, if you so wish it. 
All those who reside in this great land of Riveria are free to live their life however they see fit. Bob the Paladin, show your own path, or follow your own path in life. Here, gifts from the royal family, wishing you luck and prosperity for the future. Okay, so we got 300 dosh, that is awesome. Got the world map, also very useful. I have also furnished you with novice equipment, try it on, please. The other gifts can be enjoyed at your leisure later on. Wow, Bob, you're really on your way now. You can change your weapons. Okay, so this is just more tutorials. It suits you well. I'm somewhat envious. Oh, darling. On to the next matter of business. Each life is governed by a separate master. They act as mentors for new recruits. Everyone begins their life as a novice under the tutelage of a master. That's the way it's done. Once you've earned your master's respect, they'll promote you to the fledgling rank in your life. If you work diligently, you too may eventually reach the rank of master. Or you may yet surpass that rank and reach that of hero or even legend. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, you must greet the paladin master. By doing so, prepare you for a new and exciting chapter in your life. Well then, Bob, my subject, you must make haste to your master. I wish you eternal luck as a member of the paladin life. Should you ever become disheartened, you are always welcome to draw strength here at the castle. Alrighty, we're in our new duds. I'd say we look pretty darn spiffy. Alrighty, let's head out then, shall we, and see if we can find our master. Off I get. Oh, that was such fun. Thanks to you, I got to see the king. Thank you so much. Bob, good luck in your new life. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. And by the way, you look great in those new duds. But don't you feel a little bare around the neck area, Bob? Um, say, I thought I'd be alright on my own, but actually, people keep trying to catch me and it turns out there isn't a butterfly life. But I really, really, really want to know more about this world. Could I come with you, Bob? Oh, please, I beg you. I beg of you, take me with you. Ah, uh, I guess so. Thank you, thank you. By the way, you can call me Flutter. We have to go and see the master next, right? But where could they be? All right, the king gave you a map, didn't he? I bet we can figure out where the master is by looking at the map. Okay, just... More stuff. Off we go, off we go, let's go see the master. And then saving tutorial, of course. Very important. Alrighty, so there is our character. This is our, uh, pretty much our uh, summary screen. You'll see it every time we save the game. Alrighty then. So, I guess we'll go and say hello to our master. The map is telling me to go in here. Oh my god, Gaston? Is that you? Ah, what have we here? So you seek to join the Order of Paladins, do you? My name is Mustang. Oh, you're not fooling anyone, sir. Captain Mustang of the Paladin Order. Tis a pleasure. Many new cadets often call me Captain Boomerang Stash. My advice, don't. That said, here you shall learn the ways of a paladin. You shall live, eat, and breathe valor. Tis a paladin's duty to maintain and protect the peace of all Castell. Now then, I shall bestow onto you the symbols of our duty.
Take that sword, a symbol of the righteous hand of justice and good. And that shield, symbolizing a paladin's oath to protect the citizens of this fair land. With that sword and shield, you shall become a hairbringer of justice to all. Never forget your duty to protect, and while continuing your journey is one of us. You seem eager to begin, however you're still but a novice, which brings me to my next point. Though tempered, uh, through tempered discipline, tireless resolve, and diligent training, sorry, diligent, <laughs> uh, I'm sure you'll one day rise to the very top of our hollowed order. Now, Rosalind is waiting for you outside. She joined our ranks not long ago. She will go over the basics of our order. I believe you'll learn much from her. While I do not mean to place any pressure on you, I expect many great things from you. Gaston, you are not fooling anyone, sir. Alrighty, let's head out and meet this Rosalind girl. I'm guessing that's her. Hail, new recruit! I'm Rosalind, and I've been charged with showing you the ropes of paladinhood. It's an honor. I just recently entered into the order myself, actually. Only two days ago, in fact. Alright, let's start with Paladin Etiquette 101, shall we? The most basic of the basics. Always aid those in need. It's all about maintaining the proper composure. Never forget, humility and modesty are important. Our first task will be to pay Isabel a visit. She's been a paladin longer than both of us. Isabel just loves horses, so I bet she's over at the stables right about now. Make sure to keep an eye on your map. It'll show you exactly where you need to go. Nervous? Don't be. I'll be right by your side the whole time. Okay, shall we get going, Bob? Alrighty, let's head forward. So yeah, this game, you guys, if you have never seen it before, essentially, uh, you can change lives or classes, as it were, at any time, and it's just a whole lot of fun just to mix and match between them, max them all out, you know, get different abilities and stats. It's, it's a very fun, very large game for the DS, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this playthrough. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Hmm, looks like a couple of pups have lost their way. This is a horse stable, not a puppy farm, you two. That's not funny, Isabel. I want to introduce you to our new recruit here, and I was thinking you could go over some basics. Is that right now? Very well then. I suppose I can lend you to a few minutes of my time. Without technique, that sword of yours is about as useful as a feather duster. So first things first, let's cover some basic Castilian sword techniques. Okay, long swords are fast and protect you from enemy attacks. As you level or as your level rises, you can attack with different A presses, like consecutive and charged attacks. Now equip your sword. Okay, let's go into our menu here. Uh, and we want to go to the gear option and equip this sword, which you can see on the upper screen uh, increases our attack by two, which is fantastic. I see you're ready. Good, let's begin your training. First things first, you better get to grips with how your sword handles. See that training dummy over there? Go ahead and practice a few swings on it. Okay, so A takes out our sword and we're automatically kind of locked on. We're going to be keeping an eye on our target uh, the entire time. And so far we pretty much just have basic combos available to us, nothing too special. Well done, not too shabby. I say there's hope for you yet. I think you have potential to be a fine paladin, but with enough practice, of course. Pretty impressive for a pup, anyway. Definitely more bite than bark, I'd say. Whoa, it took me two days to get that right. That's just the kind of motivation I need. I won't let you pass me that easily. That's the spirit. Still, knowing how to swing a sword isn't enough. There's still one more skill to teach you, but that, I'm afraid, is someone else's duty. Rosalind, you know Porthos, right? Need me to tell you where to find him? Yes, man, that'd be helpful. He's a bit of a, shall we say, gourmand. <laughs> He's likely stuffing his face in the marketplace right about now. 
Thank you, milady. We'll head right there. We have to hurry, Bob, before Sir Porto finishes stuffing his face, uh, finishes his meal. Alrighty, let's head forward then, shall we? Back the way we came? I think I found him. <laughs> hmm, what is it? Oh, do you have more free samples? I just finished eating 14 bowls of Ravarian noodles, so my appetite's getting really fired up. Wait, wait, that's an appetizer to you? Sir, free samples can wait. I have something to ask you. Oh, that you, Rosalind? Taking a mid-patrol snack, you too, are you? No, sir, that's not it. We were hoping you'd teach us how to properly use a shield. Eh, is that all? Oh, it's no fun at all. Tell you what, you look like you've got impeccable taste in food, so I'll throw you a scrap, as it were. Thank you so much, sir. Right then, squires, one question. Do you know what the most important thing is for a paladin? Delectably decadent, mouth-watering, scrumdillumptious food. There's a saying here in Castell, squires. You can protect Castell, or you can't protect Castell on an empty stomach. Don't get me wrong, feeding our citizens is far more important than feeding ourselves. But the citizens can't eat if they aren't protected, and we can't protect them unless we eat. That, my dear squires, is what makes us paladins the beacons of justice that we are. I think I get it, sir. And here's a handy little tip for you. That shield of yours makes a spiffing buffet plate. Sir, what if custard- uh, <laughs> custard, oh my goodness. What if Captain Mustang or- I'm gonna call him Captain Gaston, here's you. Er, right you are, my apologies. I, uh, tend to go a bit overboard when I'm hungry, you see? Anyway, to protect others, we paladins must also protect ourselves, you know? I'll show you the basics of using a shield, so pay close attention. Okay, so this is just telling us how to use our shield. What do you think, Bob? Think you can get a handle on the basics? Make sure you two become the best you can be. We need more paladins like yourselves. Because if we don't protect the town, we will make our scrumptious meals. Okay, Rosalind, snack time's over. Back to your patrol you go. Yes, sir. Uh, we weren't here for snacks, though. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. Speaking of patrol, I nearly forgot. When I was making the rounds, I overheard people talking about some trouble in the area. What kind of trouble, sir? I haven't the foggiest. I received word about it from the shopkeeper down at my favorite cafe. Anyways, I won't be able to check it out until after I've had my little snacky poo. Actually, you two are perfect. Why don't you head on over there for me? Do you mean us, sir? That's right. After all, a paladin's duty involves more than swinging a sword and raising a shield. Remember the paladin creed. That's right. Always aid those in need. Alright, Bob. Let's go out there and give it our all. Warrants my belly to see two young squires so eager to prove themselves. Head over to the Appleseed Cafe. Speak with the owner. He'll explain the whole thing. And make sure you report back to Captain Mustang when you're done. Yes, sir. We're off, Bob. Alrighty, let's head over there next, then. So, if you're wondering where I'm going, by the way, you can look at the lower screen. Uh, it is pretty much leading the way. Uh, there's red arrows and flashing lights and stuff just to show me where to go. But overall, I do know my way around somewhat in this game as well, so... Why, wow, you're quite the feisty little paladin. Is Sir Porthos with you today? No, sir. It's just me and my partner here. We heard you required some assistance. How very thoughtful of you. Why, yes, that's correct, young lady. See, we're famous for our apple juice. Wouldn't be the Appleseed Cafe without it. Unfortunately, our shipment of apples has been delayed and we're plum out of ingredients. Delayed? But the weather's been gorgeous. What could have possibly, possibly delayed it? Indeed, I'm not quite sure myself. Our apple juice is made from specially grown apples, you see. Now, these apples are something else. Crisp, juicy, oh, and that smooth texture? Amazing. 
but lately our apple shipments have been getting more and more unreliable. And without them, business has dried up. Just take a look around, it's a ghost town in here. It's certainly quiet. Uh, it's certainly quite the situation. I didn't want to cause a big fuss knowing how much you paladins have on your plate. But then I started hearing about some rather dubious looking characters hanging around. To be honest, I was at a bit of a loss until you two paladins in shiny ar armor showed up. Not a problem, just leave it to us, sir. Our mission is to put the apple back into the apple seed cafe. Literally. We must do something. Not just for the owner, but for all the apple aficionados. Aficionados? I'm not trying to pronounce that word. In town, too. Come, Bob, let's go search for those apples. First, we should try talking to our fellow paladins to hear what they have to say. They patrol all over Castell. If anyone's seen any suspicious people, it'll be them. Our best bet is the guards at the front gate. They must have seen something. Let's hurry up and ask them. Alrighty, cool stuff. So, let's head this way like the game is telling us to. Oh, hello? Can't say I've seen anyone suspicious here. I mean, just look at all the foot traffic. Yeah, that's right. So I guess we'll go talk to the ones at the front gate only. I'm pretty sure um, the other ones around here don't really have much to, to, uh, to tell us. Hello there. Welcome to Castell. You're free to enter and leave as you wish. Huh, wait a second. You're one of us. And here I was thinking you were a tourist. Sir, we've come to speak with you about a very important matter. Important? Oh, I get it. You want to interview one of Castell's illustrious gate guards, naturally. No, sir, we'd just like to know if you've seen any suspicious characters coming through here. Suspicious characters, eh? Nope, haven't seen anyone like that around here. Oh, I see. But I did hear talk of some trouble going on on the outskirts of town. Sounded like a burglary to me. A burglary? Now, let me see, where was it again? Right, I was stationed on the western gate. Hey, I can help, my name's Gates, er, with a G. Anyway, according to my recent intel, you'll want to check out the farm nearby. Apparently the apple trees there have been completely stripped clean, not a single apple left. Hey, that's it, that's what I heard about. But how can you steal apples from a tree? I mean, they're sort of belong to everyone, right? I'd love to go over there and catch the thief, but my duty lies here at the gate. That's right, gate duty is our top priority, captain's orders, we can't move from the spot. The thief's next target is the tree just southeast of here, or so I heard, only a rumor though. What? You can't take those apples, those are my favorite apples. I love sneaking off guard duty just to take a taste of those juicy, crunchy apples. Wait, weren't you the one just saying that our duty lies here? Hmm, I see. Judging by what these two have told us, it sounds like we're likely to find the culprit near apple trees. Let's go, Bob. No time to waste. Hold it there, you two. Captain Mustang, sir. Just on my way out of town and caught wind of your conversation. Now, is what you've said true? You mean the part about me ditching work to go eat apples, sir? No, not the apples, Private. I shall ignore that for the time being. I'm talking about the appearance of a thief in the area. Yes, sir. It appears the rumors are actually true. In fact, Bob and I were planning on apprehending the fiend ourselves. Is that right? You two are shaping up to be upstanding paladins, but I cannot allow you to be so reckless. There is a fine line between bravery and buffoonery. Peacekeeping requires the right set of tools. An armed rogue is a dangerous rogue. Allow me to teach you this technique. Okay, hold down A to release a powerful attack. This is essentially a spin attack from Zelda, pretty much. Uh, I expected exceptional results. Or I guess he expects exceptional, not expected. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Woo, I thought I was done for. Just head out across the way from here. Good luck to you two. It's dangerous out there, so take this. Don't hesitate to use it if you're in trouble. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey, what gives? You can't just give away rations willy-nilly. Hey, come on. I can do what I want with my half. Alrighty then, let's head forward and see if we can stop these thieves.
Ain't a soul in sight. All right, let's get started. Awful lot of work for a bunch of apples, though. Quit your belly aching. These ain't just any apples. Yeah, yeah, I know. Apples so tasty. It'll drive you absolutely nuts. That's right. Any juicier apple in all of Riviera. And soon the boss will have all these special apples all to himself. Boy, quit chit-chat. Get all the apples and haul them away fast. Relax. Ain't like those goody two-shoes paladins are gonna stop us or nothing. Alrighty, so. We'll see how this goes. Try the charge attack we learned. Ooh, that was pretty cool. It uses up some of our SP, which is that blue bar down below. But honestly, kind of worth it. Considering we can hit like all of them. There we go. Very nicely done. Hey, look! Let's head back to the Appleseed Cafe. Awesome sauce. Alright, let's go head back, shall we? We'll head around a different way that we haven't been yet. This game is absolutely massive, especially for a 3DS title. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, I'm just gonna quickly go off the path here and grab this. I'm gonna need that for a quest later on, I remember, because I had trouble completing it. <laughs> there are a lot of quests in this game, there's a lot of side content. Uh, if you're if you're interested in, in RPGs in general and you're looking for a game you can play on the go on the 3DS, 110% recommend this game. I don't think enough people have played it. It's so good. My word, that's one of our apples, isn't it? That means you did it. You got my apples back. Now I can finally make that special order of fresh juice for the folks in the castle. Excuse me, sir, but did you say castle? Yes, that's right. Oh my, I must have forgotten to tell you earlier. This here juice is for Her Highness's absolute favorite of drinks. When you say Her Highness, do you mean Princess Laura? Of course, who else? Just wait until the princess sees this. Oh, she'll be so, so delighted to have her favorite drink back. And it's all thanks to your brave efforts, my fine young paladins. The honor is all yours, sir. Er, I, I mean, the honor is all ours, sir. Until next time, fair defenders, here's a little something for your efforts. Please send my regards to the captain for me, won't ya? Right then, I guess we better report back to Captain Captain Mustang right away, huh? Alright, and there's pretty much one of the quests done. We're gonna head back and he's pretty much going to uh, assess us and then we'll potentially, I think, move up. Uh, in the rankings of this life, there are several different rankings per life, so there's a lot there's a lot of content in this game. It's pretty much what I what it gets down to. And so the heroes have returned. Seems your first patrol of the town was much more exciting than you thought, eh? Those at the castle cannot stop singing your praises. I can hold my mustache or er, my head at a pie knowing you two have I have two such fine paladins. Um, Captain, I take it Castle isn't a code for something else? Correct, I speak of Castel Castle. Princess Laura was especially impressed. In fact, she told the cafe owner to send the two valiant knights responsible her utmost gratitude. It was nothing, sir. It's all part of our or it's all dart of our putty, I mean all part of our duty. The princess thanked us! Us! What an honor! Can you believe it, Bob? Now then, allow me to assess the results of your hard work. Fine work, knights. I hereby recognize you two as fully-fledged paladins. I expect you to continue your training with the utmost diligence. May your early signs of promise lead to further success. Dismissed. You heard the captain, Bob. We've got to go. We've got to go. Give it 110 percent. I can read. I promise. Oh my goodness.
And we leveled up. Awesome. Alright, so we're just gonna save our game. So yeah, you'll see there, we can collect three things. We can collect uh, Dosh, Bliss, and Stars. Stars are what uh, we earn when we complete quests related to our life. So in this case, do Paladin quests. Bliss we'll learn about later on, and Dosh obviously is money, so... It's kind of three very important things. There will be something else later on. Alrighty then. Wow, well done, Bob. Now you're a fully fledged paladin. There's something different about you. Maybe it's those stars from the master? You're kind of sparkling and shining in this really cool way. Alright, and it just explains stars like I just did. And we'll use uh, those stars to increase our rank in our lives, pretty much. Uh, on the skills menu, you can check which skills you've learned. With more skills, you'll be able to take on tougher enemies and more difficult challenges. Your rank will affect certain conversations with others who belong to the same life as you. They may give you items, chat to characters with question marks over their heads. Let's head home and rest. I want to see where you live. Alright, this just tells us about leveling up. We get to put in uh, attributes or points every time we earn one level up, so we get two points per level up, pretty much. Um, and each one of those things uh, has a different, I guess, additional benefit. So some of those things will be better for uh, fighting lives. Some of them will be better for, like, the crafting lives. So there's a whole lot of different different ways you can play this game, essentially. Uh, let's go into our status here and assign those points. So it'll say, if you look on the lower screen, this one, for example, improves sword attacks, mining and wood cutting, carpentry, blacksmithing, defense. Like, they all have something that they something that they do. So for now I'm just gonna put one into strength and one into vitality. Just because as a paladin those will probably be the most useful for us. Alright. Um let's head back out, shall we? Um oh, hello. I know quite a lot about monsters if I do say so myself. Why don't I teach you some things? Let's start with the basics. Many monsters are only active during the daytime. However, there are also some fearsome monsters that only come out at night. What? You knew that already? I mean, of course you did. I was simply reinforcing your knowledge just to be safe. One must be ever village, uh, vigilant for bandits, you know. It's particularly important that we keep check on the bandit leaders. As it's paladin's duty to put an end to the activities of such scoundrels. We must do whatever we can to defeat them for the sake of the people. That way, I'll be able to walk the grassy plains without fear. Uh, I mean, uh, the people can walk without fear. Okay, so that was one of the things where, as you progress through your life, people who are also in your life will give you additional stuff if you talk to them when they have the, uh, question mark over their head. So we got a new quest for doing that. That's awesome. Her as well. How's it going? Ah, oh, so you become a fledgling paladin. Congratulations, pup. Here, take these. I'm sure you'll get more than a few scrapes in battle. Now, let's get out there and show the world how a true paladin fights. Awesome, so there's three more potions. I think that brings us up to four now. Uh, let's head back home now, though, as our little info bar on the bottom screen is telling us. He's been gone for a while now, I can't help but fret. Oh my, you're home. I was just checking if you were back yet. How did it go? It's been a hectic day. We're both quite tired to tell the truth. Well now, who's this? Nice to meet you, I'm Flutter. Bob has really helped me out today. Oh, how nice to meet you. I'm the landlady, Pam. The first day of our new job and already bringing home another mouse to feed. It's not easy taking care of someone else. Well, at least she won't eat much. I'm sorry. I'll do my best not to be a burden. Please let me stay. Oh, don't mind me, dear. There's no need to apologize. I'm not some mean old landlady. Besides, I find you quite curious. I've never met a butterfly with such lovely manners. Come and pay me a visit sometime. I'll treat you to some nice sugared water. Oh, wow. Thank you kindly. Anyway, it looks like you're well on your way in your chosen life, Bob. By the way, I've got a present for you. I was thinking that this room is a little bare, so I got you this. Yay, a worn out chair. <laughs> a little decoration makes all the difference. Now why don't you put it on display somewhere? Your room is your own personal home base. 
wherever you are in your room, uh, or whenever you're in your room, the my room icon will be displayed on the touch screen. So essentially this is just telling us that we can organize our furniture and make it look really awesome in here. Think Animal Crossing-esque, honestly. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we want to go into Rearrange and then Decor. Click on that chair and Place. Alright, so we can't place it by the door, but we can place it just like over here, I guess. Whatever, I don't really have a preference. Now, doesn't that look nice? Now that you've started your life, you can work hard and earn lots of dosh. Then you can buy all sorts of lovely things for your room. Once you've saved up enough dosh, I can show you some larger properties. I run the estate agency just downstairs, remember? If you're interested, come down and chat about it. Yes, dosh and stars are certainly important, but the key to a happy life is bliss. With enough bliss, you can enjoy all sorts of perks at home and away. Make sure you come home and rest well after an eventful day of adventuring. That's the secret to a blissful life, you know. Well, I'll be off now, dearies. Be sure to get some rest, Bob. And good night to you too, Flutter. Good night, I hope to see you again soon. Bliss sounds great, you should try to get some ASAP. I can't wait to see how blissful your life becomes, Bob. Oh, I'm all a flutter. Incidentally, listen to this, Bob. You'll never guess what I can do. Actually, I can perform bliss checks for you. That's not the reaction I was expecting. Well, no matter. Whenever you want to know how much bliss you've got, just ask me and I'll tally it up for you. Would you like to try it now? Uh, sure. Okay, Bob, let's see how blissful you are. Oh, this is exciting. Went to the castle and met the king, started a new life. Leveled up for the first time. Awesome. Okay, so pretty much Bliss are almost like story quests, um, so those are the ones that we just did, and they also include level ups by certain amounts, I think. Um, and we can go ahead and invest them into pretty much any one of these. So we have a larger bag, up to 100 items. We have bigger storage for at home, 500 items. We can have a pet, which by the way, it can follow us into battle, or we can have it at home. Uh, horse riding, we can get around faster. Shopping, just more items in the shops. Hairdressing, different hairstyles, I believe, or you can just change your hairstyle, I'm not sure. Uh, and then happy audio, you can uh, have like, uh, you can listen to all the game audio in a special area, pretty much, I believe. But just to start off, we're gonna go with the bigger bag. I think it's probably the most useful one right off the bat. Great job, Bob. If you keep gathering bliss at this rate, then you'll be able to really enhance your life with fun perks. Bliss is collected while enjoying daily life. Alright, there we go. Let me know whenever you want me to perform a bliss check for you. I'll try to keep quiet when we're out and about as to not bother you, Bob. But I'll take the chance to stretch my wings whenever we're here in your room. So if you'd like to talk to me, just come back here and we'll be happy to help. Today has been so eventful, hasn't it? I'm so glad I chose you, Bob. Uh, no, wait, forget I said anything? Bob, I can't wait to see what Riveria's Rever got in store for us. Okay, oh, this is just telling us about questing. Which, uh, we'll have to look at next time. I hope that you and I will become the best of friends. Well, should we call it a day? Good night, Bob, and sweet dreams. Thank you for today. I had so much fun. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. I'm so excited I can't sleep. I hope that you and I will achieve great things together. There's a secret I need to know, and a great secret hidden in this world. It may already be too late, but with your help, maybe...